four popular toddler booster car seats break during Consumer Reports tests. The Britax Frontier Clicktite, the Britax Pioneer, the Costco Finale 2-in-1, and the Harmony Defender 360. Load-bearing components at the rear of all four seats break when tested with dummies whose weight nears the seat's limits for its harness system. Consumer Reports crash evaluations are more rigorous than the federal safety crash test requirements, which all seats must meet in order to be sold. When the structure surrounding either the harness or the top tether breaks, it can compromise the seat's ability to protect the child in a subsequent crash event. It may also allow the child to move further forward, which means they can contact portions of the vehicle interior. And if the harness disengages completely, the seat is no longer restraining the child. Consumer Reports knows of no injuries related to the structural failures revealed in its crash tests. In statements to CR, Britex, Costco, and Harmony all reiterated the safety of their seats and noted that they meet federal standards and that CR's testing differed from the government's. So what should you do if you own one of these seats? CR says you should not stop using the seat unless you have one to replace it. Any car seat is better than no car seat, and these seats all provide a basic margin of safety. If your child weighs less than 40 pounds, you are good to keep using this seat with the five-point harness. If your child weighs more than 40 pounds, the minimum weight for booster use in these seats and can safely fit the vehicle seatbelt, use the seats in booster mode. If they're over 40 pounds, but still too small for them to fit the booster and vehicle seatbelt correctly, CR says you should replace your car seat with a different forward-facing harnessed car seat. You can find more on how to choose the right car seat or booster for your child at CR.org forward slash car seats.